association with Midwest Whitetail. AFM and AFM Land Cells presents Chasing Creation. Jason Creation's been brought to you by AFM and AFM Land Sales, The Great Outdoors, Surf and Turf, G&G Taxidermy, Franklin Signs and Graphics, Allied Insurance, Acorn Prince, Tire Country, Max Baxter Roofing, Quality Landscape Materials, Cloninger's Inc., and H2O Hydro Graphics. It's May the 13th here in South Dakota. And we have had a couple rough, rough days of turkey hunting. It's 5 p.m. We're heading into a spot here along this creek uh, where the birds kind of hang out in the afternoon. We're going to try to lay down a good, solid hunt on video because it has been rough for a couple of days. It rained all day yesterday. Didn't even want to get the cameras out. Today, the wind's been blowing 30 miles an hour. You couldn't hear past your fingers. And, uh, Josh put a couple of birds down on the ground yesterday evening, but I'm gonna try to try to make it a, a go of it this evening. Come on with us to the to our makeshift uh, blind we're getting set up. In the words of Woody Guthrie, this land is your land, so you should have the right to protect it. And of American Forest Management, we have the expertise to help you protect your land for generations to come. We're your best source for forest and land management, environmental and wildlife services, as well as investment and appraisal services. Our brokerage company, AFM Land Sales, is actively engaged in the rural property market every day. We specialize in timberland, recreation, conservation, development, and agricultural properties. The combination of American Forest Management and AFM Land Sales most all-inclusive team of professionals you can work with, from purchase to sale and all forest management activities in between. Land. Since 1966, that's been our only business. Give us a call today at 855-AFM-LAND. American Forest Management and AFM Land Sales, providing services for your natural investment. Franklin Signs started in 1996 with the goal of producing only quality handcrafted signs to fit the customer's budget. And from that goal, we have signs of all shapes, sizes, and construction throughout the country. We are now a handcrafted sign facility, also offering state-of-the-art computer equipment. Our goal is to develop long-term partnerships. Franklin Signs is dedicated to you because we have a vested interest in your success and ours. Call today for a free estimate. Have you heard about Gaston County's best kept secret, the Surf and Turf Lodge? Surf and Turf Lodge is not your ordinary fish camp. We offer a wide selection of top quality menu items like our steak, chicken, ribs, chops, seafood, and don't forget about our Captain Jack's children's menu. Surf and Turf Lodge offers our full menu for dine-in and carry-out with our easy and convenient drive-through service. 
Stop by the Surf and Turf Lodge, conveniently located in Bessemer City. We're open Wednesday through Saturday for dinner and Sundays for lunch. This segment is brought to you by AFM. Set up. We didn't know where we were going to set up. We made this little place in the side of a hill here because these birds love to hang out here in the afternoon. And no sooner than we got settled in, there's four out there in the field about 150 yards. So we may do some light calling. We hope they work their way over here to this corner. It's a pretty good sized field out there, but there's four out there. And we know one, one's got a swinger on it. So hopefully we can. Uh, Bring some South Dakota Miriams back home to North Carolina. Yes, sir. This old South Dakota Miriam got himself into a Carolina mess this afternoon. I'm telling you. 
That was an exciting hunt right there. We were out here in his playground, and we didn't know if he wanted to come play or not, but he sure didn't want to come play. This was a crazy, terrible hunting day out here in South Dakota. They called for sunny weather, 60 degrees. What was it? It was 45 degrees and cloudy all day with a 30 mile an hour wind. We heard a couple birds gobble this morning off the roost, but they had a lot of jaw. And I'm telling you what, we came down here where we know they've been hanging out. And I am pumped to have this Miriam going back to Carolina with me. There's some birds. There's some birds over here that don't like us being here. Just trying to come in here and put at us. But Look at him. Beautiful bird. We're out here. I mean, this part of the country has a lot of history. You get out here and you, I mean, this cowboys and Indian country. And I'm telling you, it just makes me appreciate those old, uh, those old folks who used to get around here without the uh, things of life that we have now, the modern conveniences. This is a tough country out here. I mean, it's May the 13th. 45 degrees for a high. What? Gracious. There's some tough people lived out here and it makes me proud to be an American. This fella right here, when he opens that mouth, that's the heartbeat of America. Old American bird. Take him to the house. I'm excited. Woo. One tag down, one to go. Josh Jones is the man who can behind the camera. I appreciate it, Josh. Appreciate you coming out here and uh, putting that down on film for me. It's always fun to do it with you, buddy. Let's go get some supper. Get all you need for the great outdoors at the Great Outdoors Charitable. Get all the gear and accessories to make that next fishing or hunting trip successful. Plus a whole lot more work clothes, footwear, archery equipment, and a huge selection of guns and ammunition. At the Great Outdoors, you'll find those hard to find local fishing lures everybody's talking about on the Bass and FLW tours. Plus, the latest from Barry's Custom Lures, hand-painted crankbaits, Brian's Bees, Strike King, and more. Hunters, there's a huge selection of outdoor clothing, tree stands, all the accessories, and a selection of guns that make Mr. Winchester, Smith & Wesson, and Ruger blush. The Great Outdoors is your bow hunting headquarters. It's authorized dealers for several lines, including Matthews and Parker. The Great Outdoors has just what you need. If it has to do with the outdoors, it has to be at the Great Outdoors, conveniently located in Cherville, North Carolina at 112A Cherry Street. Call them 704-445-8848 or log on 24-7 at teamgreatoutdoors.com. Allied Insurance is conveniently located on 321 in Clover, just seven miles from the North Carolina state line. Allied Insurance covers both North and South Carolina, working in all lines of insurance, life, home, auto, business, motorcycle, and boat. We represent many insurance companies saving you time and money. While you enjoy life, we'll work for you. Call for a free insurance comparison and remember, Allied Insurance, your insurance saving store. At Tire Country, we believe the best deal is not always the best price. If you spend a couple dollars extra now to get a better product that lasts longer and is made right here in the United States, you'll be way ahead in the long run. You'll leave Tire Country a customer for life. Just ask your neighbor. We've been keeping them on the road for over 30 years. Take advantage of 90-day financing with no credit check. All you need is a valid driver's license and checking account. This is your Tire Country, Union and Garrison, next to Bojangles, Gastonia. This segment is brought to you by The Great Outdoors. Hi folks, welcome to the, again to the showroom of G&G Taxidermy. Uh, this week we're going to talk about something that we just recently found out ourselves. I had a customer come in. Uh, he had had taxidermy work done for years and years and years and had quite an impressive display in his home. Uh, through a visit from his insurance adjuster, he found out that taxidermy is considered art and in some cases your homeowner's policies may not have enough in there to cover it. So what you want to do is check with you, check with the insurance company. Uh, 
here on the show we have an excellent uh, sponsor, Allied Insurance. Uh, just go out and check with your, you know, check with your particular carrier and see if you maybe need to carry some additional insurance on your taxidermy work. Uh, it'd be a shame to have all those years of trophies and memories, you know, just to be lost with no recovery whatsoever. Hey, look, if it is insured, you can go hunting again. Thanks, and uh, look forward to seeing you again next week. Since the mid-1980s, Quality Landscape Materials has been helping our clients develop and realize their landscaping needs and goals. We offer a variety of commercial and residential services, from landscape maintenance, construction, seasonal plants, to irrigation services and installations. We also have a large supply of mulch, topsoil, and gravel on site. We're located just off 85 at exit 14. Quality Landscape Materials is where quality comes first. Max Baxter Roofing is a family-owned business with more than 25 years of experience. Our attention to detail is definitely what makes us different. Some of our services include tear-offs and re-roofs, rubber roofs, gutters, and vinyl siding. We are licensed and insured, and all our work is guaranteed. Here at Max Baxter Roofing, our philosophy is we go to the max to cover your tops. So stop by and visit us or call at 704-629-4064. This segment is brought to you by Acorn Prince. I'm shaking. March the 29th. Me and Jeff have pulled, me and Jeff have pulled the fourth kill on video off in two days. Josh Jones behind the camera just put the south in South Carolina this morning. All right, let's see here. I don't know if it's me or 2011. Oh, if it's the fact that Bill Winky's camera right here is bringing us some good luck that Josh has got from her. If I can figure out how to run it, I'd be all right. <laughs> so we're taking one to the golf cart and we've got uh, a lot of daylight left in two days.
right there, guys. Nothing. <laughs> it gets my blood flowing. Like that right there. It's March. We got two minutes left on this day. 28. It's 11. I don't know what time it is. Probably 11.30. We got on this bird probably 11.15. Bird done perfect. Heard Kevin say he had him in the frame. Jeff's over my shoulder. Starting to pour rain now. This is money. Bird on the dirt. I'm going to check him out. That is why I get up early in the mornings and rise with the chickens. He won't never fit down and do the opposite way again, really. That's an aggravating circumstance. Alright. Let's get back in this open way. Are we can. All these wax myrtles in the way. I was going to uh, be pulling the trigger, but that's the way it worked now. Let's go after one more. been pretty hard at them this afternoon. The birds have not been responsive at all. We ain't had any luck. We were heading back towards the house about 5.30. Seeing some birds crossing into a place that I was pretty familiar with. Hey, these birds should be working in this hardwood. That's where they were to like this past weekend. I think we need to work our way over this next tree. circled around and got in front of them where we thought they were heading and it was like walking on eggshells. It was so quiet and still we were just hunting a place to set up pretty quick. Hey Jeff, I think there's a lot of cover right here. It's pretty tight in here. I think you're just going to get on the other side of this tree with me and stand up. I'm just going to pull this thing off. Thank you. 
Give it to me. What about this setup? It was thick. Didn't have a lot of options right here this afternoon. March. I'm shaking. March the 29th. Me and Jeff have pulled, me and Jeff have pulled the fourth kill on video off in two days. This is pretty amazing. Early on in the season, wasn't nothing to do but stand up. So Jeff was filming free-handed. I was leaned up against a tree. But sometimes that's how you got to get it done in the south. You got to fight the brush, swat the mosquitoes, and kill the birds. What, what a way to start off uh, March turkey season. I mean, most uh, turkey season hadn't even come in in most parts of the country. That's right. Uh, we've uh, we've had the best start I think we've ever had together. No doubt. And uh, the cool thing is, uh, we've got April to hunt, and we're going to finish things off uh, May the 9th through the 15th in Kansas and South Dakota. So stay tuned. We're getting ready to Cherokee trout fish today. This might be the first catch of the day. Okay. You got a big one, Nicole. Take your time. 